All right, so when we say one is power drunk, we simply mean the person is having a strong and unreasonable feeling of being able to control other people. Now, words like self-importance, conceit, egoism, delusion of grandeur, grandiosity can be used to describe such a person. Now, whilst condemnations, you know, trailed the report arrest, uh, reported arrest, of Mohammed over a tweet on the First Lady, um, notable Nigerians including our social media activist um, Aisha Yusufu, knocked Aisha for um, allegedly using her power against um, the student. Now, while initial reports were that Mohammed was arrested by um, the Department of State Service, that um, Nance also revealed that he was rather arrested by, the, like I mentioned in my What's in the News, in the Federal Capital Territory Police Command, who traced him to Jigawa, where he was picked up. Now, on the basis of this, not really focusing on Aisha Buhari, right, alone, because, <laughs> but as us as Nigerians, right, <laughs> we can't help but say something on the subject of power drunkenness, right? We can't say, we have to say something about the um, power drunkenness and it's very, very much prevalent in our climb. So we're asking, is it possible for it to be curbed or curtailed in this great country of ours? Now, that's a question. Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 803 You can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa 1 with the hashtag Wayshow. So now, I like this topic, and I know people will be quick to just jump because, again, Nigerians are very easy. If your politician, your president, your whatever does something, we are so quick to put touch, 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 touch. But let us really look at the subject of power drunkenness mm. on its own. Take away the, the actors that played in this. I always look for teachable moments. So if something happens in the news, I'm not talking about it because I just feel like attacking the person or whoever did it. It's for us to learn. It's like this is a moment for us to now reflect and teach ourselves. Power drunkenness lives and breeds in every single Nigeria. It's not something that is unique to just only people that are in positions of noticeable authority that you can see them. Your gate man, he has, you know, say, Oga wants to, secretary wants to see, I be a PA, he's standing in the way of you seeing the Oga, you hold your file. Like, these things are something that it lives and it breeds within us yep. so it's not something so that's why i'm trying to set this foundation well so that when we're talking we're not just focusing on aisha Buhari. yes you know whatever it is that she's been alleged to do is a show of power drunkenness right but she's not she's not alone in that because if everybody was given the opportunity to exert power we will and we will do it with so much you know rigor and excellence <laughs> we, 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 we won't even mix words, right? Everybody looks for that opportunity where, like, you are, you are in charge, right? So, I mean, let, let's, first of all, dissect the conversation. When you saw the post about the young man that was detained and all of that, what came to your mind, right? And then we can then go around to discuss power drunkenness if it is actually possible to curtail it. If it had been a country like France where they are slapping their presidents, I wonder what would have happened. That hand to this would have been. <laughs> As in, amputated on, on the spot. Mm -hmm. You're seeing governments, even America, where they are throwing shoe at presidents mm -hmm. just to show that we're upset with your policies or whatever is going on. Nobody has died. Nobody has gone to go and meet them without using legal you know, precedents to justify yeah, the, their yeah. picking up the arrest or whatever. Mm. As an assault, not even because it's presidential. It's just a grievous bodily harm kind of assault that they're picking them for. So when you, because somebody made a statement, you sent people, please, I can't s separate it just oh, yet. Ahead. You sent people to go and pick them up. This same you, who somebody said something about the other day and you got on Twitter and said, you are a dog, bro. Sh do you remember when she said that? Mm -hmm. That she, she, our vice, our first lady, talking as if she forgets that she has an office, telling someone that me and my dog go. She doesn't have an office. Though. Well, she's a public figure. Yeah, she has a role. She well, has a role. She's mm -hmm. a public figure. She yeah. represents something, yeah. And she should represent class mm. when she's in that seat. Coming on Twitter to say such a thing, what should your fate be in that kind of instance? 
we like you said we have everybody trying to show power the people oppressing us are us one another we don't even get to see the people in the positions of power to oppress us the security at the estate gates they know you're residents but if you don't bring your code you are not coming in <laughs> you shall have, have dropped me a few times when i'll be calling them give a rock access 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 they'll be looking at me as if they don't know that i live there that's authority misuse of power because i mean you're not robots you can use your gumption same thing petrol attendance when there's scarcity, <laughs> they go, yeah, they go show you power. Lord, yeah. It is their period yeah. now. Lord. I will not come by here. So, mm. next thing is to move to somebody else. Mm. So, let us move oh, on to you. you know what, <laughs> in this truth. town hall meeting, <laughs> <laughs> this happens everywhere. It's the happening blue in blue the blue office. Blue. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're exactly. in the office. And that's the reason why even the system is almost like service providers are, like when you are requesting for service from mm -hmm. a service provider, it's almost like they're doing you a favor mm -hmm. because everyone feels like they're going out of their way to do something mm -hmm. that they're already being paid for. And that's even coming from the payment, you know, from the service delivery kind of point. Yes. So everyone feels like they're doing you a favor when they're do, actually doing, doing something that they are paid to do. Mm -hmm. So this runs through all areas of our life it's not just because we are seeing this story and it's because the person in question is a popular figure and but it happens on a daily basis from the law anyone who has power over you even at that let have an issue with the police mm. <clears throat> have an issue with lasma then you know they would they would act like they don't exactly. care even like the driving range rover see well, this moment, moment you insist, I'm doing my job. <laughs> I'm telling you, Oga, I'm just doing my job. And you, you will because it's almost job? like they want to. Everyone wants to carry out that frustration from home, yeah, from the, from the people. world, from the country, mm -hmm. from the president, from the way things are happening globally. Everyone wants to carry out that aggression to someone else. Mm. So I like I like where you let. Let's note that point because we need to know why. Because for yes. everybody that is given it's an opportunity, aggression. they aggression. must exert that power. But let me hear your thoughts, Mary. <laughs> I think people are just bitter about it. <laughs> and I mean, I don't want to say that if maybe I'm put in such position, I'll be pushed to. But I think it's unnecessary. Every, I think every human has the capacity to actually be that way. But because of training and, you know, self-control, you have to, you know, curtail it. The same thing, you have a house girl. I used to tell my mom, why are you shouting? You don't need to shout. But then she insists that if you don't shout, the person is not going to listen to you. Because over time, some people have just proven dumb. So you just feel like the only way to communicate is shouting. But there are better ways to talk to a person. Mm. You don't have to downplay them or maybe you know, give them house girl clothes, you know, so mm. they're different from you. I mean, it's sad what people would do, but it's like saying, would you not be a good person because there are so many bad people out mm. there or because you've been done so many bad, so you're going to now be a bad person. I think that's where the the hassle is. So, so I like that point. Of course, you, you also um, emphasized on it, that this is coming from somewhere, right? Because I don't understand. And this is not people just i mean angry. the bank person at the at the bank the people, bank teller people are at, you are supposed because, to be a customer service. Angry. I understand. so that means so when, when i say that you see when i say that this thing because we were arguing in the makeup room and i say to you that i can beat my chest to say that power drunkenness can be curtailed right it just takes no it can it can it can That's but you see facts. it takes the willpower and it takes a a level of maturity you know, do you know what it means that you can actually align it? They had to say they talk the word. You can extend, you can. <laughs> you must be grounded uh, before. Uh, alienate. Coming down, coming you down. can alienate an entire place. You have the power, you have the weapon. I remember when Michelle Obama was giving her speech about, you know, why it is important to pick the right person as the president of the United States. Because from the fingertip, you just have one button to press mm. and you can actually crush the entire. You understand? because of the amount of power that they wield in terms mm -hmm. of like nuclear nuclear weapons, weapons and all of that yeah. but you see them they have gotten to that level where there's some level of maturity and control right so this now just tells me that the reason we have a lot of power drunken people all over the place especially in this country is because we have a lot of recklessly emotionally loose people because 
People are bad. No, people do not have stable emotions in this country. I'm there's, serious. There's, there's no there's, system. There's no, there's system. no system. The, to the reason why we have power drunkenness in this country is because nobody faces consequences True for that. over exerting their power. And there's, there's no, so there's much, no system in place. There's no system to, to give the checks and balances. We see people that do something wrong and they retire immediately because they've embarrassed the office. So, do you understand? We don't have those consequences here. I get you for the part of consequence. And that is another, okay. another reason why we have power drunkenness on the rise. Because, again, nobody is held accountable. Mm -hmm. Everybody just does what they feel like. And it's, but you see, get it, baby. if I am emotionally stable, right, and you come and you give me a slap, I, I will choose to look at you and just not... Ex even if I have the power Emotional to, to remove you... No, 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 no. No, I don't think... Yes. I have, I've seen it happen. I've, I've seen it happen, right? Okay. I have the power to completely take you away from the surface of the earth. I understand what you mean. See what the yes. president of France did. That is... See, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. It takes a level of maturity and emotional stability to do that. Somebody that, that acts irrational, you can never do that... That somebody, okay. is, somebody, you that have the power to like end and, his entire lineage, and then you, and you, you take it too far. Do you understand? Yeah, I if somebody, you. so there are some people that you can't even attempt to want to do these things to. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's bigger people. We don't have. That's what I'm saying. Immaturity maybe is the better word. Yeah. But you see, bigger people are the ones that says. I mean, when Michelle Obama was talking about when they go low, you take the highway. Mm -hmm. How many of people in Nigeria can truly take the highway? You don't that know somebody you does say. something to you, <laughs> and you know you have the capacity. To really, to really destroy, end, them. destroy and just finish the person, but you choose not to. That is a whole, a whole new level, mm -hmm. so and we do not have that. It takes a lot of self-control. Yeah. But Nigerians self survive on oppression. Hmm. I oppress you, you oppress me. True, Everything true about that. us is. Let true me that. show you. Yeah. I'm on a different level. Yeah. I still wrote it in my status. Yeah. In Nigeria, nobody practices. All animals are equal, but more, some are more equal than others than in Nigeria. That mm. thing in Animal Farm, that statement, yeah. nobody practices more in this world than Nigerians do. They want you to know, I'm not on your level. If you, this weaver that you did now, if I ask which one it is, you will tell me it is this brand, the cheaper one that we buy in the trenches. Someone will want you to know that my own is not your type. Mm. I'm on another level. Yeah. When people well, start making the statements thing. of, do you know who I am? Who the hell are you? Mm. Who the hell are you? That you think you can talk to anybody? Oh, when they even use sirens anyhow, that's part of it. Mm. When they use uh, ambulances anyhow. Because you're not even giving a voice if you're not that way. So exactly. Like most times. So everybody oh, just wants so to So everybody just wants... We are mad people in Nigeria. <laughs> yes, we are. You know how they say in Nigeria, before you ask anybody any question, you say, hello, sorry, excuse me, please. Who are you? you you're already coming them down with <laughs> like 500 <laughs> Because I'm everybody is on a charged level mm. in this country. We are charged. He's on the road. The guys, you know, try. You can't pass me. My, my driver in the office is so. I I, I tell him, hey, you're not kind. You're not a kind driver. You're a good driver. But you're not kind. I mean, cause I I sit in front of him and I can feel the anger. As in when somebody is <laughs> rage, I say, calm down. I love him now. Yeah. yeah, you should you should beg me. I don't want to be girl. I say, yeah. hey, calm down. Good driver, but I always know, and I'm always calling you to. I say, calm down. Just sure. be kind. Yeah. Be kind. It's not for everybody. You have no to say. It goes back to what I said. It's just transferred aggression. There, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on out there. People are going through a lot in their home, <laughs> from work, from everything. They, they don't just come out and yes. mad. I'm That's telling you, you just meet someone, you say, excuse me. Yes, yes, yes. And, yes. The, and the, the response is that. So you have to. That's why I understand. <laughs> Hello, well, sorry. You're not excuse me, saying please. sorry, please, excuse me. <laughs> I'm For some people, you should. You know, technically, when you're driving on the road, right? Technically. Once you put on your indicator yes. that you're going left the or next right, person should, person should just allow you. No, no, well, you no, see, no. I've noticed, guess what? Yeah. That indicator thing only works in some parts of Lagos. <laughs> Let's use Lagos as an example. Which part? If you go, no, so it depends on my mood. <laughs> if you go to. <laughs> it depends on the mood of the driver. If you go to, the to the one of the you know, you know, side, side, you must bring out your hand. And you must do like this. On this it was like the expressway. It, 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 it used to work before, but now it's like changes have come there. Ah, <laughs> it didn't used to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, 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 you you only have to either just 
Swim. 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 How we can start to curtail it because this is not helping us. Mental. It's we not helping us as people. <laughs> it, it, we need to really put it on on it. Like we need to check it. Mm. Somebody that you have worked so hard, you've worked so hard, you have done the job, mm. you have submitted your invoice, mm. and just because somebody feels like I have the power to hold on to, to hold on to the funds. Yeah, so you have to grease my palm. It's not even about greasing palm at some point. Oh. Just that. It's not even about saying you want to grease I saw her at the party last week. I didn't she did, she did, yes, she did. let her hold on let for the hold on. Yes. yes. I will show her that I'm, I'm not as easy as that. Uh, uh, is, is I that need these female officers in like immigration, they are like that. Yeah. <laughs> we females everywhere. Our species. No, no, we're, no we're don't like bring that. a word that you cannot finish. Oh I can't Let's go to the break. <laughs> now, when we come back from that break, I, I want us to talk practical solutions, okay. right? We need to find solutions to this because I know it is possible. Stay with us, we'll be right back.